All right, I'm making this uh, short little video for you guys just to show off my bioactive terrarium. I finished this about two weeks ago, and a buddy of mine gave me the idea that I probably should have made a video of me building it because it probably would have been pretty cool, but, you know, Captain Hindsight. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like, what I did, just talk about it. Sorry I didn't show you how to do it, but... Um, I'll give you a pretty good idea on what I did. Um, it's a bioactive terrarium. This is for my ball python. Um, she's only eight months old, so this is a this is a 40 gallon breeder. It's a little big for what she needs, but she'll eventually grow into it. I'm sure she'll be happy over, you know, the next 20 years, however long she lives. Um, plus, it's cool because as plants live, die, plant new ones. Um, everything's gonna be changing, so she's not always looking at the same old thing. And this is obviously a lot better to look at than my other tank that I had. It was not very attractive. Um, so to start off with, I got some substrate. Um, I got this off the Bio Dudes. Um, they have a starter kit that um, they do the Bioactive Terrarium. And what the Bioactive Terrarium is, is live plants, live bugs, um, the soil. Um, everything's self-sustaining, kind of takes care of itself. Um, obviously not. I still got to do a little bit of work, but a lot less than I was before. I don't have to change out the substrate once a month. I read online people had this for 10 plus years and it's still going strong. Still haven't changed out the substrate, you know, replace plants as they die, but it seems a lot easier to me in the long run and a lot better looking. Um, it came with, I got a little starter kit. It came with the substrate. It came with this moss that holds water very well. And it came with uh, biodegradable leaves. Um, so as they break down, um, it just mixes in the soil. I have isopods and stinger tails I ordered off of uh, Critters Direct. And it came in in like four or five days. Customer service was awesome. Um, everything came alive. Threw them in there. It'll take about three months for uh, them to reproduce to sustain this whole tank. So once it's done, they'll clean up anything that decomposes any of her poop, anything, you know, if she sheds, she'll eat, they'll eat that. Um, so it came in, I threw all the substrate in, um, mixed it in with the moss, cause the moss kind of retained the moisture in it. Um, the substrate's pretty awesome. It keeps all the moisture down low and then keeps the top pretty dry as long as I got the heat right. And, uh, you know, you don't want the top layer to be too wet cause you could get scale rot with the snake. Um, and all the moisture stays down low so you can kind of keep that humidity in the tank as well So kind of best of both worlds um, As these leaves break down, I'll just add more or if the moss breaks down decomposes I'll just add more. I mean Is what it is. You got to do a little bit of sustaining um, I also ordered three plants from the bio dudes Didn't say what was going to come but these are the three that came or the ones that are on the back wall I'll show you the back wall here in a minute and how I did it. Um, those are pretty nice plants. I might move that one down here eventually. Um, also with the substrate, I kind of tapered it a little bit lower on this level than I did on this side. And that's because I got the heat mat on this side. Plugged into a temperature regulated plug. Kind of keeps it where I need it to be. This is her hot side. Obviously this is an artificial tree and I got a rock on this side. For hot and cool side, or not necessarily cool, but you know, it's, they got a thermo regulate, so she has an option on which way she wants to go. I got two things of water kind of one for drinking and one for bathing in. She doesn't know which one's which, so I guess it doesn't matter. Um, these two plants here, I got off, uh, I went to Lowe's and picked them up, just got something pretty sturdy. I mean, she ran this over the other day and it bounced right back up. Just planted it directly into the substrate with the soil that it was. Um, so that's enough of the bottom. Moving to the back wall, I did. Uh, I got some biodegradable uh, pots, and I put them down, laid them down on its back, and placed them where I wanted them to go. And I used a um, a spray foam, which is like a void filler, and it's a foam that comes out of a can and it hardens up. Uh, once it hardened up, I 
shaved away any spots and uh, kind of shaped it with a knife. I also added some corkscrew before I did that. And then a half log she can hide behind there. I might have to fill that in eventually just because if she gets any bigger then she might get stuck and I won't be able to get her out without ripping that off. Uh, after the spray foam dried, I uh, you know, shaved it down and I covered it completely in some caulk. And while it was wet, I added some cocoa husk and moss and just stuck it straight to it. That way when it dried, it just stayed there. Kind of gave it a natural look instead of looking like it does on the back. Um, I drilled some holes into the pots so the water doesn't just sit up there. Um, threw some straws in there and I cocked around them. So the water should be able to drain on that side. Um, so yeah, that's my back wall. I thought it turned out pretty well. I might move that plant, put something else. I'm going to my lighting. I did buy a grow light for the plants and just mounted it up here. Should help the plants stay alive and get the whatever nutrients they need. As far as my heat goes, again, I got that mat on the far side and then this, I got a daylight heat lamp and then just a regular heat bulb that doesn't uh, produce any light for at night. It doesn't disturb her while she's sleeping because those red ones do put off light and it, they do see it. Um, so that kind of keeps my heat where it needs to be on this side and my mat on that side. Um, all in all, I thought it turned out pretty well. If you have any questions, leave a comment.